Scott L. Murado's essay, The Intercorporeal Self, Merleau-Ponty on Subjectivity, delves into Maurice Merleau-Ponty's philosophical exploration of subjectivity and the self. The essay navigates through Merleau-Ponty's key concepts, such as the lived body, the intertwining of perception and expression, and the notion of the intercorporeal self. Morato skillfully elucidates Merleau-Ponty's ideas, providing a nuanced understanding of the philosopher's unique perspective on subjectivity. One central theme in Merleau-Ponty's philosophy is the concept of the lived body as the primary site of subjectivity. Morato explicates how Merleau-Ponty moves beyond traditional Cartesian dualism, rejecting the mind-body separation. Instead, he emphasizes the inseparability of the body and consciousness, asserting that the body is not merely an object but a dynamic and intentional agent in the world. Morato aptly captures Merleau-Ponty's view that subjectivity is not confined to the mind but is an embodied, lived experience. Furthermore, Morato examines Merleau-Ponty's notion of perception and expression as intertwined processes. Merleau-Ponty argues against the conventional understanding of perception as a passive reception of sensory stimuli. Morato articulates how, for Merleau-Ponty, perception involves an active engagement with the world through the body. The body, according to Merleau-Ponty, is not just a passive observer but a perceiving and expressive entity, continuously shaping and being shaped by its surroundings. The essay delves into Merleau-Ponty's emphasis on the lived body's role in expression, highlighting the idea that expression is an extension of perception. Morato discusses how the body's gestures, movements, and expressions are integral to the way one perceives and interacts with the world. Merleau-Ponty's perspective challenges the separation of perception and expression, presenting a holistic understanding of human experience. A key contribution of Murado's analysis is the exploration of the intercorporeal self in Merleau-Ponty's philosophy. The intercorporeal self signifies the interconnectedness of individuals through their shared bodily experiences. Morato elucidates how Merleau-Ponty challenges individualistic conceptions of selfhood, proposing a view that recognizes the communal and embodied nature of subjectivity. The essay explores how our interactions with others involve a mutual intertwining of bodies, fostering a shared corporeal space that shapes the way we perceive ourselves and others. Morato skillfully unpacks Merleau-Ponty's concept of the flesh as a medium that binds individuals together. The flesh, as Morato explicates, is not a physical substance but a relational and dynamic intertwining of bodies in shared experiences. This analysis sheds light on Merleau-Ponty's attempt to move beyond traditional individualistic notions of selfhood, proposing a more relational and embodied understanding of human subjectivity. In addition, Morato engages with Merleau-Ponty's exploration of the chiasm, a term used to describe the intertwining and reversible nature of perception and expression. Morato's elucidation of the chiasm adds depth to the discussion, highlighting how Merleau-Ponty envisions a reciprocal relationship between the self and the world. This interplay emphasizes the mutual influence of the body and the environment on each other, challenging a dualistic understanding of subject-object relationships. In conclusion, Murado's analysis of The Intercorporeal Self, Merleau-Ponty on Subjectivity, provides a comprehensive and insightful exploration of Maurice Merleau-Ponty's philosophical ideas. Murado skillfully navigates through key concepts, such as the lived body, perception, expression, the intercorporeal self, the flesh, and the chiasm, offering a nuanced understanding of Merleau-Ponty's unique perspective on subjectivity. The essay not only clarifies Merleau-Ponty's concepts but also contributes to the ongoing discourse on the nature of the self and its relation to the world.